Welcome to the HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education. Today, we will explain how to use Poplet in education. In today's educational session, we will talk about Poplet for the creation of mind maps or online schemes in a fast and simple way. Today's objectives are explore the Poplet application and its basic functionalities, and do a practical example where we'll insert text, images, and multimedia files. Before we start, what is Poplet? As I mentioned before, it's a tool that allows you to create various kinds of mind maps, timelines, flowcharts, lists, chart trees, or mood boards online. It allows you to visualize and share your ideas. Who can use it? Anyone from an educational institution or anyone who has a Gmail account, since you can do it with a Google account when you register. Is it difficult to use? No, we just have to invest a little time if we don't have much dominion of ICT, but we'll see that it's very simple. How can I access it? Through the browser by typing Poplet in the search engine, or from the link we have here. Now, let's look at the tool. I have my Poplet account open, so let's get started. First, I'm going to give you a tour of the options we have here. In my Poplets, I'll see all the Poplets I've created. The free Poplet account is limited to one Poplet. If you want to be able to create more than one and keep them in this space, you can check the subscription plans. There are monthly or annual payments for one person or for groups and schools. Also, what you can do is create your Poplet, download it, and delete it, and create a new one. Shared with me, as the name suggests, would show me the poplets that others have shared with me. Public poplets allows me to see poplets made by others. And feature poplets. Now I'm going to create one. Click on Create New Poplet, and I'm going to name it Prehistory, since it's oriented toward my social science class. Then we select the color of our poplet. I want it blue. Then click on Create a Poplet. This is our blank canvas and I'm going to start working on it. We simply double-click anywhere, and a first box will open. From the triangles in the corners, we can change the size. Now I'm going to add a text. Click on the center and type Prehistory. This first button serves to change the color of the outline of our box. Then we have the option to justify the text on the left, center, or right, and we have these three sizes for the letter. I'll select the text and make it bigger. Then we have the pencil with these colors we use to draw. And this last button is to add images, URLs, or videos. From the circles on each side of the box, I can draw new boxes to expand my scheme. So if I want to add more boxes that emerge from this, I just have to click from any of the circles and define where I want to place it. If I want to, I can change the location, I just have to click and move it. So here I'm going to put one of the stages of the prehistory. Paleolithic. I select the text and put it in big letters. I'm going to add another that comes out here and write Neolithic. Again, I select the text and put it in big letters. The third stage I'm going to put here, then write Age of Metals and change the font size too. Now I'm going to change the outline color of the three stages. Let's say I want them red. Let's select each box and change the color. Remember that we can adjust the size of the boxes at any time to make sure that the text fits well. So I already have my main boxes. Now I'll place some new boxes with colors at the top to guide my students regarding the content they will find in the mind map. Double click on the canvas and I'll call this stage. It's going to be in red, which as you saw, I already have. Then I'm going to add another box that I'll call home and I'll make it green. Then I'll add another, which I'll call Way of Life, which will be in blue. Another is going to be Objects, and I'm going to make it magenta. Another one called Art, and I'll make it yellow. And finally, a drawing frame, which I'll make gray and write resources with the black pen.
we make sure that they are all organized with the appropriate. Now I want to add a link to a video in the prehistory box. I have an open video on YouTube on the subject. So copy the link, return to Poplet. I stop at the box prehistory and click on the YouTube icon to paste the link here. And as you can see, the video appears in the box. Let's continue. Now in the Paleolithic stage, I'll add a new box, make it in green, and write 2.5 million years. From this box, I'll extend another, which will also be green, and I'll write Appearance of Human Beings. I'll select the text and make it smaller. Now I'm going to add another branch from Paleolithic. I'm going to make it blue since I'm going to talk about their way of life, and I'll write that they were nomads, hunters, and gatherers. And I'm going to make a box extending from this, define the size of the letter as small, and write lived in tribe. I add another one, make it magenta. Here I will write stone tools, bone and carved stone. I add another yellow box. This is like ochre yellow. And I write that they had cave paintings depicting hunting scenes. I click outside, and that's it. Poplet automatically saves what you're doing, so we don't have to worry about saving or anything like that. And my last box is going to be gray, and I'm going to add an image of this stage. In this case, I'm going to upload it from my computer, then click on the first button that appears. I select the Paleolithic image I want and insert it. And as you can see, the image is inside the box. I save, and that's it. We can see now that the tool is quite simple to use. We can quickly create concept maps, timelines, or the scheme we want. We just need to be clear about the content we want to include. I can do precisely the same with the other two stages of prehistory, adding information in the boxes with the color corresponding to the content to be seen. In the end, we'll have all the content organized by colors, which comes very useful when it comes to studying for both older and elementary students. Once we finish completing the map, we can change the background of our poplet from here, or zoom in and zoom out from this bar. If we click on View All, it will readjust the size of the screen to see the full map. And in the cog, we have more options, to copy, cut, or paste the boxes that we have in the canvas. We can also hide name badges, in case we do not want our name to appear with the boxes. And finally, I can download my poplet in PDF. From the cog, click Print, plus PDF export. I select the folder where I want to download the PDF and save. And if I go to my desktop, which is where I saved the PDF, you can see the map here. We can also invite collaborators and share our poplet. To do this, you have to make it public and share the link. This will be all for today. Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education.